Hey there, everybody. This is my SmokeGuard 907A2 smoke detector that I got today from YouTube user Jeremy Emerson Ceiling Fan Melligan, or just Jeremy Melligan. Big shout out to him for giving me this. Uh, you can see the other, he has another one that he took a video of and posted it, so you can see his video for the other one. And he got three of them. He didn't need one of them, so he gave this one to me. I'm very glad to have it. Not that it's a real, like, childhood detector, I guess, from my childhood. I never actually seen one of these till I saw it on video, but I think these are pretty cool detectors. Um, but this was made in, I'm guessing, the 70s, maybe the early 80s, I'm not quite sure when. And it's got the old-fashioned mechanical horn, as you can see right there. There's a smoke guard logo right there. Of course, this was made by Statutrol Corporation. And then there's the test button with the red LED behind it. It says push to test. And the LED is actually underneath the circuit board. You can kind of see it there. The LED is under, is like poking through a hole in the circuit board. Right through there underneath the test button. <coughs> and then the test button contacts are right there. So... This is the hardwired version of the 810A9. The 810A9 looked very similar to this. However, it was, of course, battery-powered, and you could open the cover on it to remove the battery, and it was actually used the same circuit board as the earlier 800, or no, 809A, which was the sort of successor to the 800A, which I you've seen in my videos before. Um, the eight, the eight ten a nine had a piezo horn and it had a white test button rather than the clear test button because it did not have an LED. But basically, it had the exact same cover and the exact same base. It also had the same sensor. It, the only difference was the horn and the test button and how it was powered as well. Now. This one does not have a label on it. It also did not come with a mounting bracket, but that's okay. I'm just really glad to have one. Uh, and from what I can tell, it doesn't look like there was ever a label on it, which is pretty strange. I mean, you know, smoke guard typically puts their labels on all their smoke alarms, but this is the only one I've ever seen that does not have a label on it. And the, the others that he bought actually didn't have labels on them either. But... Like I said, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, the cover is removable on this. If you remove those two, the, these two star screws right here, then you can just remove it just like your typical, just like the uh, 800, the 810A9. Um, let me get my flashlight so I can show you the inside. I don't really, I don't have a slotted or a star screwdriver, so I'm just going to have to show you the inside through the vents. Of course it has four side vents on it, like that. And then the horn output hole right there. And then more vents on the bottom here. I guess that's where the cover attaches. Um, <clears throat> okay, so right here you can see there's a sensor right there. Just the same sensor as the 810A9 and the 8, 809A. Of course, right there's the test button and the test button contacts, which I showed you before. There, you can see the LED underneath of it. There's strange thing. There's a a oh, put this up here. There's a ceramic resistor right there, which is pretty interesting. I don't, I didn't know that they use these. Those these this late. And those ceramic resistors get pretty hot. This one's getting pretty warm, too. Yeah. And, of course, there's the horn right there. It's a typical Kobishi CLB26. Oops. The same one that's used in the, the FireX FX1020 and the Lifesaver. And what else? A couple others. Um, I can't think of any. 
oh, the, uh, the Gentex GX100, all those kinds of alarms. And then on this side, of course, you get a better view of the sensor right there. And this one has this that metal plate at the top. The, the 810A9 also had that plate. I'm not quite sure what that's for. And then, of course, there's a horn again. There's the wires. And then, of course, it has the three wires. The black and white are for the line voltage, and then this one's for interconnect, of course. Um, now, there are a few other videos online of this detector. There's one by, uh, of course, there's one by Enlund where he got two new in box with the mounting bracket and label and the manual. You can see his video for that. There's also one by Rick McGrath that was, it was in a hotel room and it had been like going off or malfunctioning or something like that. It was just beeping. And it had a bit higher pitch. And then there's one by uh, Sam Nudge which he has it one in his hallway, and you can see his video for that. So, And then, of course, Jerry Milligan also has the other two that came with this one. But he didn't need this one, so he gave it to me. So, like I said, there's a smoke guard logo. Of course, if this one had the label, you'd also be seeing the Statatrol logo on the back. But now this one does the... Uh, it, as you see, it does have that squealer horn, in the, or not squealer horn, but AC vibratory horn. Kobishi CLB26. You push the test button, and it does the pulsating sound that these often did. So here we go. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's, kind of, it's more of a 5-6 than a 4-6, actually. Beep, 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 beep. Actually, it's kind of 5-6. I'm not quite sure. It's pretty slow, though. Test it again. Let's see if the LED does anything. The LED doesn't do anything. I'm not sure if other ones flashed or if the LED just went out or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Test it once again for you. I quite like the sound of it. Sounds... Not very many smoke detectors with mechanical horns had a pulsating noise to them. There are only a few that I know of. The there's the West Clocks smoke signal one that did the that had a pulsating tone pattern to it, and then there was the super rare First Alert SA76 RS mod with the horn and sensor swapped. That one did the pulsating pattern to it. I also forgot there's another YouTube user that has one of these. It's Federal Thief, uh, Federal 3T22. He has one of these. And his video, you can see his video for that as well. I don't know if there's anybody else that has this. I'm not quite sure. It's pretty big. I mean, it's not very, like, it's not very tall, but it's pretty wide. Of course, it is rectangular, which most detectors at this time were rectangular, like the the, the GEs and the, the other smoke guards and uh, uh, like Gillette and actually this one's square instead of rectangular but like the GEs were rectangular and, and square and the Gillettes were rectangular of course as well as the smoke signal ones and what else um I think I don't know, not quite sure. Um, but anyway, that's the smoke guard 907A2 for you.